What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fistigov Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. 1977-1981 would be the years that Philadelphia's Matthew Saad Muhammad would represent the light heavyweight division with world championship belts. Born August 5th, 1954, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He died 2014 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was some fighter and some humanitarian. He stood 5 foot 11 inches. He weighed 172 and a half to 187 pounds. He was managed by Sam Solomon. Now his original name was Maxwell Antonio Lopes. And he was taken by his aunt, along with his brother, at the age of four when his mother passed away. And unfortunately for Matthew Saad Muhammad, his aunt felt as though she couldn't take care of him anymore. See, those checks stopped coming in. And she told his older brother that one of you guys have to go. I can only take care of one of you. So his older brother took him to a park. And they would wind up on Ben Franklin Parkway. The older brother had an idea. He figured they would play red light, green light, one, two, three. But Matthew was a little slicker than his brother. Because he was a fast counter. He would turn around and he would find his brother walking away. So his brother realized we have to play a different game. So they decided to play hide and go seek. And at this point in time, Matthew Saad Muhammad figured he's not going to find me. So he would just run, run, run and find a location where he felt he couldn't be found. Meanwhile, his brother took off, never to be seen again. At this time, Matthew Saad Muhammad was five years old. And he was found wandering around Ben Franklin Parkway. June 16th, 1969, he was discovered and picked up by Sister Bernadine. She represented the Catholic Social Services Department. She would bring him down to the police station for identification. With hopefulness, he would one day find his parents. No one came down to claim Matthew Shad Muhammad. They wound up in foster homes. And the Catholic Social Services once again pick him up from the unfortunate circumstances. Now I mentioned to you once before his name was Matthew Antonio Loach. So they decided to rename him Matthew Franklin. Matthew because of the scripture and Franklin for the Ben Franklin Parkway in which he was found. Now, in order to get to a school that he was recommended to go to, he had to pass 13th and South. There you had a gang. And Matthew would get beat up every day. He got tired of getting beat up and he would decide to join a gym. And at this gym, he would meet a gentleman that saw some skills in Matthew. Matthew decided to join the Islam faith. Nation of Islam. He changed his name to Matthew Saad Muhammad. Matthew became the light heavyweight champion in 1977 when he would defeat Marvin Johnson. He would have 14 slash 13 title defenses, according to the records that you read. Four of those defenses were by knockout. Now legendary fights with Lottie Mawali, where he would score a fourth round knockout. The fight fighters such as Murray Sutherland, Marvin Campbell, Eddie Gregory, Marvin Johnson, Billy Dynamite Douglas, Richie Cates, Jackie Lopez, John Coates, 
Jelly Bull Martin, Dwight Braxton. Introduce him to the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1998. He would become a WBA, WBC light heavyweight champion, an NABF light heavyweight champion. He would work at Local 32, where he would become a roofer. Last couple of fights were with Andrew Maynard, 1988 Olympic team, and Uriah Gray. Matthew Saad Muhammad, what a fighter. Let's watch some of his fights. With fighters such as Marvin Johnson, Dwight Muhammad Kawi, Eddie Gregory. I never could understand why he didn't fight Michael Spinks. Oh, what a fight that would have been. I was at the Yaki Lopez and Matthew Saad Muhammad fight. I was at the Yaki Lopez, Victor Galentes. I was at Matthew Saad Muhammad when he took on Richard Cates. Oh, what a fighter. Matthew Saad Muhammad. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of his fights right here. On the museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. Judging Paul Harris, Harold Lederman, referee Ozzy Sadler. In this corner, white trunks with a black stripe from Indianapolis at 175 pounds, Marvin Johnson. His opponent from Philadelphia, also 175 pounds, red trunks with a white stripe. Matt Franklin. This is a beautiful belt. Hold that, Ozzy, will you, moment? It will be presented to the winner. It will be the light heavyweight champion for North America. Very nice. What happened was that uh, John Conte, of course, from England, was the world light heavyweight champion and he was supposed to fight well angel coelho in monaco and uh the fight was all set two days before the fight conte decided that he didn't want to leave england and didn't want the fight now this was a mandatory bout put across by the world boxing association that it had he had to fight this fight so conte refused to go and fight two days before the fight so his title was stripped from him Conte couldn't come over and fight. There were some personal issues that he had to deal with. He wasn't allowed to come over to fight. That's what actually happened. So he was stripped. Galentes got a title shot and he gave up the NABF Light Heavyweight Championship belt and that's how it became vacant. Now you have Marvin Johnson with 15-0. and 12 knockouts. And Matthew Saad Muhammad a fighting for that belt. White Trunks from Indianapolis, Indiana, is Marvin Johnson. And in the Red Trunks, Matthew Franklin out of Philadelphia. Last time here on Prism against Johnny Townsend, Marvin Johnson was most unimpressive, although uh, he did win in 10 rounds. Johnson the puncher, but now, Matthew Franklin is Matthew Saad Muhammad at this point of his career, but he didn't legally change his name as Marvelous Marvin Hagler did. So he's still on the bill as Matthew Franklin. And he really hit him. I mean, Bethea was hit from a punch, and I think it took him two days to recover from it. Very impressive fight that was on national television. 
other bout we spoke about against Johnny Townsend. Matthew Jay. Franklin, Matthew Saad Muhammad has the red trunks. February 21st. Marvin Johnson, who is a southpaw from round. Indianapolis, has the white trunks with Another black stripes. I first met Matthew Saad Muhammad. Personally met him at the Kevin Kelly fight when he was fighting for the New York State Featherweight Championship belt at the New Yorker Hotel in New York. But I was at his fights personally in his second row with Jackie Lopez in 78, John Keats. A very good fighter was Matthew Sabahan. You'll hear his name mentioned as Matthew Franklin. One of the top 15 light heavyweights in the world. It's Marvin Johnson. Johnson rated number four, if I'm not mistaken, by the um, WBA. His record's only 15 and all with 12 KOs, but that's his professional record. He's had an awful lot of amateur bouts, Marvin Johnson. was one of the best amateur fighters Absolutely. in the division in the country, or even in the world, for that matter. Yes, he won the bronze medal in the 1972 games. You can bet both fighters will be in the peak of condition for this. He's on the same games as Sugar Ray Seal. Now Marvin Johnson had a brother by the name of Hank Johnson, a younger brother. He was the head coach for the 1988 Olympics team in Seoul, Korea. He kept plotting after Matt Franklin. Franklin, uh, but, uh, anyway, had an awful lot of trouble with. Uh, Townsend here. Uh, Joe May in, uh, One of my favorite light heavyweight uh, fighters uh, not his with last Marvin fight Johnson. Johnson. Always respected course, Marvin Johnson. Benefit card for, uh, he was an old school fighter. Back in uh, April of this year, he fought Joe May in Wilmington, who was a heavyweight, who is a heavyweight rather, and May has a very plodding style and a very heavy puncher. And uh, Matt Franklin did win the decision in 10, but uh, had an awful lot of trouble with the uh, uh, straight ahead plotting style of Joe May, which uh, Marvin Johnson uh, has exhibited in the first round here tonight. So it'll be interesting to see just exactly how Franklin will be able to handle that same style. Once again, Marvin Johnson is a southpaw. There's white trunks with black stripes. So Indianapolis. Southpaw style of Johnson. He was a multiple light heavyweight champion. Johnson, as he has only 15 professional fights, but he has had 65 wins as an amateur, 55 of those KOs. Oh, good uppercut. Oh, very good uppercut. Now, Johnson, Matthew Sad Muhammad's corner wants him to throw a right hand left hook combination and then a left hook right hand combination. Oh, beautiful left uppercut right hand combination thrown by Marvin Johnson. Does it once again. He sees a pattern. And the behavior of Matthew Saad Muhammad. And that's important for a fighter to recognize. Now, although Matthew Saad Muhammad has more professional, oh, what a beautiful right hand thrown by Matthew Saad Muhammad on his jaw of Marvin Johnson. Matthew Saad Muhammad has more professional fights than Marvin Johnson, but Marvin Johnson has a better amateur career. Oh, beautiful combinations thrown by. Marvin Johnson. They're all uppercuts with left hooks and right hands behind them. Marvin Johnson and Matt Franklin. Oh, beautiful. Right uppercut, left hook combination. I should say left uppercut, right hook combination. Johnson is a well skilled fighter. He understands the body mechanics. We're seeing lots of action here in round number two. Of the 
Oh, oh beautiful right up a cut thrown by Marvin Johnson. 20 seconds to go in round number two. Still right hook thrown by Marvin Johnson. Oh, nice straight left right hand, uh, left hand, excuse me, to Marvin Johnson. Oh, what an uppercut thrown by Marvin Johnson. My God, what a round. Welcome to the light heavyweight championship divisions in the 1970s. This is what you got for your dollar. Matt Franklin with a record of 15-3-2 and, two and uh, certainly has great international experience. Here's the exchange here, Bob. Oh. Very good exchange. Right up and good defense. To Both fighters and Marvin Johnson has a record of 15-0 with 12 knockouts. I couldn't really tell you who would go in that round. Both of them scored well. <laughs> Franklin gained international prominence on May 21st last year in Milan, Italy. He scored an eight-round decision over lefty Mate Parlov of Yugoslavia. At the time, Parlov was rated number two by the WPBC. Ready for round three, and the way the leather has been flying, highly unlikely it will make it through 12. See, during those days when you went to the Philadelphia Marvin Spectrum, Johnson, that's where the Philadelphia 76ers played, you were always guaranteed a great fight on a boxing card. And that was the place to be. Oh. My God, beautiful combination thrown by Marvin Johnson. And he's showing his international experience as an amateur here. You see, if you notice, Marvin Johnson throws combinations consistently. And he always starts out with the left uppercut and ending it with a right hook combination. Sometimes he'll step to the side and come back with a straight left hand. And he always uses his jab on the outside. Good body combination thrown by Matthew Saad Muhammad. Matthew Franklin, as he is named on this field. Why Marvin Johnson was so dangerous during his time as a fighter? He always threw combinations. Oh my God. You see, this is what you're looking for when you go to a fight. You want to see technique. And you want to see combinations from a fight. Nice right hand thrown by Matthew Saad Muhammad. Now, Muhammad at this point should be jabbing Marvin Johnson. Shouldn't be lured into a slugfest. That's Marvin Johnson's game. As he throws a combination once again. Left uppercut, right hook combination. His left has been able to score better than the right lead, he has. And Franklin counter. My God, these two men are made for each other. Very nice right hand thrown by Matisan Muhammad, followed by a body punch combination. And Johnson comes right back with a right jab and a left hook. And uppercut. Five seconds to go in round three. Oh, Franklin scored with beautiful right hand. hand. Boy, I'll tell you, when they said this is a dream match for punch. My God, what a boxing. double right hand thrown by Matthew Sada Muhammad. And a, 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 a left jab to come behind it. See, what we're seeing here is textbook combinations by both men. Marvin Johnson throws a right uppercut. And then a left uppercut you, with a right hook combination. This is a tough one to score. We're only into the third round. That's My God. Great round. Three. Great round. Oh, the fans love this one, Bobby. Have they ever come alive? This is what boxing is all about. really exchanged some excellent blows. Is it? Let's see some of that action there. Around this is the mark of a good Indian. promoter and a very good matchmaker. Johnson has come through repeatedly. There he is. He come up through it again. Up again. Ah, beautiful. Sony Solomon has done a very good job.
He's a manager of Matthew Saddam Muhammad, and he's also a matchmaker as well. That's where Matt Franklin kind of smiled when he took all those shots from Johnson, and uh, as if to say, see, it didn't even hurt me. I took your best shots, and they didn't even hurt me. But I would have to score that round in favor of Johnson here, and they're going to keep a running score. The good news, in this series, this would not be the I'm last gonna, time you would see Matthew Saddam Muhammad. 5-4 Johnson in the first round, 5-4 Franklin in the second, 5-4 Johnson Expect exciting fights. He's still scheduled well, to face go to -to Jackie Lopez in 1980 in McAfee, New Jersey. We'll also show we'll Matthew Sam Muhammad and Dwight Jackson. Muhammad Kawi. Oh, not, nice right hand thrown Johnson by Matthew Sam Muhammad on the jaw of Marvin Johnson. Look at the combination. Matthew Sam Muhammad is a Philadelphia exchange, fighter. The other one sits back and throws an exchange. And oh my God! Look at this combination the thrown by Muhammad. Right on their feet with every exchange, no matter who's throwing them. Good left jab, and now Johnson goes uppercut city to the head of. Now you understand why I watch old school fights. Oh, beautiful right hook, left hook combination, and a a left uppercut, right hook combination thrown by Marvin Johnson. Say for yourself, the name of this game is going to be conditioning. Nice uppercut thrown by Matthew Sadmahan. Johnson has a habit of walking into fight. Oh, oh, what a lift oh my by God. Johnson there. Oh, really. Beautiful Stand uppercut. Head back and bleeding the snap the neck from the nose. of Matthew Sadmahan. And he keeps coming like nothing happened. Oh my Johnson God! Look at the uppercut. The first 75 seconds, and then comes on the modern stage more than he ever. Both uh, fighters have thrown so many punches that you know they look almost uh, punched out by the fourth round. And this is the fourth round. You know, I was at the Kevin Kelly and Troy Dorsey fight at the Felt Farm, Madison Square Garden, and that book was logged. That bout was logged into the books of the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, this is only the fourth round in this fight. They continue. I'm curious to know how many punches were thrown in this fight as well. Matthew Saad Muhammad is digging underneath with uppercuts to the head and body. Tries to go up or cut. Oh, beautiful combination thrown by Matthew Saad Muhammad. And Marvin Johnson is on the defense. Johnson trying to hang on. He it. Johnson is hurt. Oh, my God. Bell saved him. And they still fight after the bell. Both fighters contend and after the bell. And listen to this crowd. I was at the spectrum and it is very loud. It is very hard to hear the bell. Marvin Johnson knocked his mouthpiece out and then come back with a good left hook and another right hook and had Johnson in deep trouble. Now this fight took place in 1977. The very next year is when Matthew Saad Muhammad would have two good fights. Let's take a look at some of that action. There's the right hand there that knocked the mouthpiece away from Marvin Johnson. Another oh. good right. He would fight Cates, and then he would fight Jackie Lopez. Right there. And I was at both those fights at the Philadelphia yeah. Spectrum. That was in 78. Trying to hang on to tie up Franklin. That's when the bell went there, and neither fighter heard it because the crowd was really responding to that exchange. I would also see the Marvin Hagler and Benny Bisco fight that same year in 78 at the Philadelphia Spectrum. And that was some fight. That one you have to score in favor of Matt Franklin. No question about that. Let's see if Marvin Johnson has any punching power left. Once again, Matthew Saad Muhammad, who was Matthew Franklin in this fight, has on red trunks with the white stripe, and Marvin Johnson has white 
trunks with black stripes, and he is the southpaw. They are fighting for the vacant NABF light heavyweight championship belt. That was vacated. It's exchange for exchange. Three for three, three for three. For John Case. What a fight this is. What a fight this is. Look at the combinations thrown in the fifth round by Marvin Johnson. Beautiful right uppercut thrown. A beautiful left uppercut. Straight left right jabs. As we remember that Marvin Johnson is the southpaw. Johnson favoring the hook. Here's the Johnson found some second win, Bob. But Franklin has, has been his style through the first four rounds. Taking the best shots by Marvin Johnson and then poured it on the last minute, minute and 30. Oh, oh. solid hook. Beautiful. Hot Franklin to the chin of Marvin Johnson. Oh, oh there's a change by Johnson. Johnson. Left right combination. Right above us. Directly above us. Keep in mind that Marvin Johnson is 15 and 0 with 12 knockouts. 30 seconds to go in round five. He is a very hard puncher. And Saad Muhammad is taking these punches. Right hook. Gets it in on Marvin Johnson. And he's been hit with multiple uppercuts. And in this case, right hook from the Marvin Johnson. Oh, left solid left just teeing off. Well, I have to say that despite Franklin winning the previous round, I've got to score that Marvin Johnson, Bob. It's almost like uh, Johnson's round, and then the next round it goes to Franklin, and the next round to Johnson. It's uh, it's been a, uh, an, an excellent fight, lots of action. One that we thought would, uh, of course, wouldn't be a very dull one. When you're going <laughs> after the title, it's not usually a dull fight. There you see Johnson. There's a good left hook. Another good left one. What a fight that we've seen here tonight. Could even be a draw. Oh, a nice right hand thrown by Mati Saad Muhammad. Johnson must come back with the right jab. He's got to control Mati Saad Muhammad. He's in there with a Philadelphia fighter. He has to control him with the right jab. Matthew will not stop. What condition both these fighters are in? That leather has popped right from the opening round. Johnson with a good exchange there, a good combination. Another good guy, the chin of Marvin Johnson. Very nice left uppercut, right hook combination thrown by Marvis Johnson. Johnson's his most effective self against when he has a fighter on the ropes. Johnson looks tired and is getting hit, but then gets a left right left combination in. But Franklin somehow still has a lot left. It's unreal. Nice combination thrown by Mati Saad Muhammad. When you hear me say the word Philadelphia fighter, Philadelphia fighter, you will never find one to quit. 
They have a heart of a lion. It's not in their DNA. They will fight to the death if necessary. And that's total respect. The Philadelphia fighting. Oh, beautiful. Uppercut combination. Beautiful right hand thrown by Monty Saad Muhammad. Marvin Johnson is hurt. He will not survive this round. Not when he's in there with Matthew Saad Muhammad, Matthew Franklin. Ten seconds to go in the round. Matthew Saad Muhammad thinks the fight has been stopped. It has not. He loses a few seconds, so Marvin Johnson will get out of this round. He's walking on Queer Street, as we say in the boxing world. It's Marvin Johnson. Stop with about 10 seconds. Well, Leo, all legs. And you knew that's going to be a very controversial thing at the end of this fight. Had Ozzy Sadler not stepped in there thinking the round was over, would Matt Franklin been able to put away Marvin Johnson? I believe he would have. We're up on round number 12, the final round. Well, 12 round is the last round, whether it's a knockout or a decision. It's only going 12 rounds. Really showing well. I, I would hate to be the judges to make make the decision. There you see Matt Franklin signify that he won the round. Down aggressively as he ended round 11. Oh, Johnson is hurt. Matthew Saad Muhammad has to put the combination together. He must create room to allow Johnson to fall. Johnson is completely hurt. Marvin Hagler needs a three-piece combination, and this fight will be over. Oh, beautiful combination thrown by Matthew Saad Muhammad. He throws a straight right hand, and Marvin Johnson tries to hold on, but he cannot. It's just a matter of a few more punches. Marvin Johnson holds on to the rope. He's down, and it's over. And a new NABF light heavyweight champion goes to Matthew Saad Muhammad. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. 100 years of world championship fight. See you in the next video. Great fight by Matthew Franklin, a.k.a. Matthew Saad Muhammad.